what's up everybody this is Harry and I have here my aircrete wall experiment so I'm doing this experiment for three reasons the first reason is I was planning on building my interior walls of my dome out of aircrete and this was my plan on how I could do it and this was an experiment I did last night so basically the plan is to use the metal studs so I have uh, the track on the bottom and then on the sides here I have metal studs so the studs have your openings here so you can run your wiring for electrical you can mount your electrical outlet onto the stud here either side and or you could drill a larger hole to run your plumbing line so my idea was I could run install the studs run my electrical wiring if I had any put uh, this is a piece of sheetrock that I had laying around uh, but I would use some uh, wood panel that I could reuse with that smooth coat and um, put that on either side of the stud and fill the cavity in with aircrete. Now the aircrete I would use in the house for the interior walls would be a cement sand mix just to have a stronger wall and also I could um, extend my cement by adding sand to it along with the foam so I could get more cement or rather I'll be getting more concrete for my uh, 94 pound bag of cement so this here was um, this was about 80 pounds of cement that I had and when I did this the sheetrock was old and the screws on the bottom of it popped out and a lot of my aircrete escaped because the sheetrock was really weak so I learned uh, a lesson there don't use sheetrock when I'm ready to do this uh, or use new sheetrock and or I could use a plastic bag as a liner to prevent it that would would have been the easiest thing for me to do with this experiment but I didn't expect the sheetrock to bust out where the screws were holding it uh, as I poured the aircrete in this side of the wall was good because I was using a wood panel that had a plastic on it and I'll be making another video the extended version of this one that shows how I started this experiment so anyway you can see here the idea would work to make a wall of aircrete now this aircrete has been curing for just about 15 hours so it hasn't been very long and it's been raining and the water's gotten in from the top and you can see how the top looks when it's getting hit by rain but um, the idea looks like it would work perfect this here would be a great uh, this is not even three inches I was actually thinking of using four inches for my house but for this experiment I wanted to go small so this is a uh, two and three quarter inch wide metal stud I would want to go a little thicker uh, for my interior walls especially where there would be plumbing because the idea would be to draw my hose or use the existing hose here you can see that's the aircrete and um, run my electrical and plumbing and uh, that would all be covered with the aircrete which you could easily chip away if you ever had a leak or any problem in the future it wouldn't be much of anything to chip the chip the wall away to access your pipe or electrical and then repatch it with aircrete but uh, I was happy to see this worked really good and I could definitely see myself doing the all my interior walls in this fashion using sand and cement with foam to make my interior walls now the second reason I did this experiment was to test how the aircrete would work if you wanted to use it 
as insulation in an existing home that has existing sheetrock. And uh, the one thing I can say is it definitely would work. You would uh, definitely want to use uh, cement and a lot of foam because you want your cement to be very light, to be very insulative. And um, mm -hmm. that would also work well. The one issue you'd have if you're using it for an existing house or your existing walls is if you had any hose, like for example, this metal stud had a hole here, and if you don't cover that, then your air creed could leak out and you'd be trying to fill your wall cavity, but meanwhile, all your air creed would be leaking into your basement uh, or something like that. So if you were to use this technique, you want to make sure you have no hose anywhere that allow the air creed to escape. And uh, lastly, third reason I did, did this experiment is because the same system could be used for insulating existing homes on the exterior. So let's say this was your existing exterior wall, like uh, someone on Dome Gaia Forum up in Canada was mentioning. They have a stucco wall and they wanted to use aircrete on the exterior of their wall to act as insulation and this could definitely work as well again you would just have to build a form so if this were your wall you would want to make a a form that you could fill the cavity in and um, pour your aircrete in there so you can make whatever thickness you wanted to make for your insulating layer and then on the exterior of that do a stucco coating on the exterior which would be uh, make it stronger and help keep the water out and all that and then also maybe even paint it with an acrylic paint which is basically acrylic paint um, mixed with some uh, cement and you can make a nice strong uh, exterior coating so anyway this worked great uh, I can definitely will be proceeding with this technique for my interior walls and for those of you out there looking to build your own interior walls you could consider this method because again you'd have metal and cement so you have fireproof and you have rodent proof uh, walls so that would work really well anyway I'll be making uh, the longer version of this video adding the part where I Mix the cement and put everything in it. Anyway, that's it for now. Peace out. Catch you guys later.